Hey, what's going on, everybody? We are back with some more Genshin Impact today. I keep watch. You leave, you call. All right. Let's uh, get on into this. All right, let's uh, events. I like that little loading screen. Change it up. Eight hours, man. I hate how they do this unlock system. All right. Well, apparently we're gonna miss the second one. Shoot. So that's lame. So lame. Yeah, because right now we don't have the way to get the uh, other material, so we can get the other rewards. Which is all we really need. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, I forgot to look up these conches. Uh, how to get them. I will do that right now and we can do that. Try to find the rest of them since we only have five. Okay, sorry. I just googled it and like one of the first ones was Forbes and it's like, why are they writing content on Genshin Impact? I did not know they even had a game section. Uh, let me... That's... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah. Alright. Okay, the conches, they're here. Oh, okay, so yeah, we can only find five on the first day. So it's uh, it's unclear. I don't know if they're referring to first day being, like, literally the first day that we play it, and we have to wait to the next day, or are they talking about these days? So we're going to head out there and see if we can find any more conches. If not, then it means we do have to wait for these to unlock. Plus, I do want to roam the sea a bit more. Um, what's the other rewards? I think it was just like level up, like books, material, and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't hurt maybe do another more of those, a few more of those mini missions to get some of these ones. The uh, shield, pinwheel, and loot books are super important. I think I have quite a bit of these actually. Oh, actually, no, I don't. Two, two, three. Okay. I have four golden pinwheels. Jesus. Yeah, it's mainly the loot and shield that I need a lot of. Alright, uh, quests. What do we got? Alright, we just have this one. Which will help us ascend the world level, which I just do not want to deal with. Doing any of that nonsense. Um, uh, daily login. We have not done that. Let's go to the world map. Yeah, I keep noticing that whenever I go to the world map, the upper right hand corner, the floor six, uh, chamber two pops up, except it's in Chinese. So it looks like it loads everything in Chinese and then like has to like reload it into English instead of loading it immediately into the native language that we selected, which is super weird. Just looking around. Okay, even if it's not a part of this overworld, I wish there was a physical point where we it could be like, go here, and then you can just like sail out there. It will like activate a cutscene to sail out. I think that would be cool. But yeah, um, go to here. Oh, it does have exclamation points by it.
Zoom out. Yeah, it's just kind of a lot of empty space. Eight hours. Man, such bad... I do not know why this syncs up so badly with my streams. Just terrible timing. Huh. Alright, we'll go here. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll check a few islands, see if we can find any more conches, or if we have to wait. I'm trying to read more of the article. Wait, where was the thingy? Yes, summoning... Doodad. Aha, right here. Really nice, I like the look of this. Alright, yeah, let's go out and... Kill a few of these suckers. Okay, yeah, straight ahead. I should have selected it. I don't know why I didn't. I think I still have a few more things that I need to do with the boat to get rewards that way. Oh wait, no, those can't fall. It's only the little ones. Alright, I'm gonna save the big hit for the other one. Ooh, there we go. You jerked! Oh, buddy. I don't think so. Oh, we're in first person for some reason. Oh no. Alright, let's get up here. Yeah, if there really isn't much here today, then I guess we'll just go over to Linway and do some exploring in the wilds, which we haven't been able to get too much of that done. Just a hit, and... Oh, barely. Alright, I'm gonna take care of the archer first. Oh, buddy. I like the makeshift rafts that they made, but there's no way in hell that would stay balanced. Uh oh. I'm stuck. Alright, and I believe it's only 50 for rewards, actually, so that's pretty cheap. Okay, I got four of these, so I guess I'll focus on these two. Uh, we'll go with the loot first. Oh, we can only get two of them. Eight hours. Ooh, I know what we can do. Um, we will not continue exploring here because we've already done all this biz. Or wait, can we? Can we teleport here? No, 
No, there's no like auto teleport point here. All right. Oh, I still have to talk to him. Let's uh, teleport there. We'll talk to him. See what he's got. I hope it's not one of those things where you have to talk to him before he starts his uh, whatever they do to get their friendship points. <laughs> And we can also pick up the money from them. So yeah, it looks like today's just going to be a lot of odd and ends. I think I might try the Abyss Dungeon. We might try to make it up to level 7, I think. Or was it to level 8? Shoot. No, it was 6-2 that I'm stuck on. Well, 6-3 technically, I can't beat. Because I had some of my teammates die in 6-2. But I have leveled up people quite a bit, mainly like Child and... Yeah, mainly Child, because he died out pretty early last time. Um... Let's get our money from him first. Would you... Wait, what does that do, though? Okay, so they all had points that they got. Uh, buy. Let's buy some stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's uh, see. How's this? Items refresh in three days, eight hours. Ooh. Which means, yes, we can buy level up paper. All right, first we're going to get these. Um, what was some of the new stuff? Oh yeah, it was all of these blueprinty things. Alright, we're gonna buy some level up paper. Only three, but whatever. Uh, we have 106 left. Might as well buy some, one of these. If you Goodbye. Ever... Okay, so we're gonna read the blueprint, then we are going to level up some paper. Alright, main boy. I don't think he'll be a level out of this. Definitely not. God. Oh, it's so painful. Then we'll put the rest of the paper on the loop. Gained a whole level out of that. Um, let's see here. I'm trying to think who I used on my team last time I went into the dungeon. Um, it was Child. Her. Bennett. I think it was Chung Yoon. Ray I think it was Razor and Kaya as well. Yeah, Razor and Kaya, because I remember it. they were on the same team as Child, because he died and it was only those two left. Oh my god, I can't remember. Ah! And like the team comp is like hella important. Oh yeah, and if you look at uh, friendship level, it's just 10 and it stays capped like that. I was wondering if it was going to read out max, but no, it just says 10, which means maybe they'll raise the friendship level max in the future. Um, wow. Alright, let's run over here. Back to this water sword boy. Right on cue. I was just wondering whether you might appear. Well, keep wandering. I'm Audis. Even if it were to exist solely upon the page, this teapot realm would not fail to inspire. And yet here I am, perceiving it with my own senses. Naturally, I couldn't be happier. Not to mention... Well, I can read at my leisure here, for hours on end, without any fear of interruption. Ah, 
the perfect getaway. Shh, not so loud. <laughs> oh, the lazy bum. I wouldn't dream of neglecting any of that. But please, don't let anyone else hear you talking about it. My father and brother are always ready to give me another earful. Oh yeah, he's got a father and brother. Okay, so we haven't really had any, like, siblings, really, or parents for most of these characters. Uh, we did meet Eula's uncle, we met Child's brother, uh, and what's her name? The cat girl. We met her father. And honestly, her father was super plain. Uh, Eula's uncle... Eh. Like, he was, I guess he was okay for, like, a pretty basic design. But I think Child's brother was probably the most unique out of all of them that we've met. And it's like, you should really try to, like, build up their families and stuff. Make them, like, unique characters and maybe bring them in later. That'd be cool. Like, yeah, maybe his older brother uses a different weapon, but it's still water style and we could bring him in. That'd be super cool. Like, maybe he uses the spear or buster sword. Alright, we're going down here just so we can place some stuff in different areas. So yeah, down here is just a, basically like a lot of like barrels and crates and whatnot. I'm just building it up to be like, this is where we get all of our supplies. Ooh, fruit cart! Oh yeah, we can put some people down here, can't we? I can't quite remember if that actually boosts our island points or, uh, or what. Oh, we don't know. I had to leave out of place. And go on. And then I think we can place one more person. I'm just putting down people that I know I probably will not use anytime soon. Oh wait, that was... That's what we want to have, outdoor furnishing. Save changes. Alright, let's talk to all three of them. Hello! I was just coming up with a new dish. Don't worry, nothing too strange. I love it! Very cozy. And there are so many new and interesting things I've never seen before. Just a shame more of them are potential ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since we uh, interacted with her, but yeah, she uses everything for cooking. But really, don't worry about it. Although I, I am quite happy that they are giving a lot of character development to characters by giving them those multi-ending side quests. I just wish... That they'd work on giving it to more people. Like opposed to giving Noelle her second chapter. I wish they just gave another person theirs. That we haven't got to really interact with. Like her. We got to do her uh, story quest like a long time ago. And since then we haven't really heard much from her. Combining existing ingredients in new ways already allows for countless variations in flavor. The trick is to keep playing with different pairings. I've got plenty of new concepts to try out. But, um, what would really make a difference is if you could taste test them and give me some feedback. Uh, really? Great! I'll get cooking! 
Ningguan? Hello. Is there some matter of importance you wish to discuss with me? This is a comfortable environment. A good place to be calm and gather one's thoughts. Much like the days in the Jade Chamber. Oh, you misunderstand. An environment can't be judged purely on its size or opulence. I sense the time and effort that you have put into this place, which reminds me of the time and effort I myself spent when constructing the Jade Chamber. Or to put it another way, I see this as the Jade Chamber that belongs to you. Oh, it's you. Iona. I always forget her name. All clear. No scent of alcohol on you. Hmph. Adequate. Well, the grass here isn't as soft as the spot where I usually take my afternoon nap. There aren't as many butterflies here as in the meadow I like to go to. And I can't hunt freely here like out in the wilderness. But there's no smell of alcohol hanging in the air here. And no drunkards kicking up a fuss. So I think we can keep it the way it is. I don't think I've ever ran into an anime character whose like personality like uh attribute is just like being against drinking. <laughs> Which is so weird since she's a bartender. It's like. Alright, sweet. So we got that. Um, Let's pop the pot and uh, get back to where we were. Oh, yes, I was able to craft the uh, Buster Sword and level it up. So now it's up to level three, I want to say. Yeah, I just need two more blueprints of uh, claymores, big old buster swords. But yeah, today's been a pretty good day. Um, it's Thursday in the middle of E3 kicking off. And uh, Summer Games Fest just happened today, as well as uh, Indie Devs stream. So there was a lot of game announcements, like seriously. Uh, check my Twitter. There is a buttload of trailers on there from games. And that's like, I'd say that's maybe only a little more than half of the games that they showed off. Because some of them were just like, oh, we're getting a big update in War, you know, Call of Duty. Or uh, here's what some of the characters will look like in Overwatch 2. So they did some stuff like that that I didn't really retweet, but a lot of game stuff was interesting. And, uh, yeah. So if you're ever wondering what kind of games I was into, or what ones you might see on the channel in the future, just check out my Twitter. Because yeah, I retweeted a lot of those trailers, and it's just like, some of those games I just can't wait for. Uh, Elden Ring? Oh my god. <laughs> I am getting that immediately. I love all the Souls games. We are going to be... I'm going to try to play through that. I, I, I don't know if it's exclusively for PS5. I'm not 100%. I need to look into that. Hopefully, I'll have it by then because it's coming out June. Wait, no. Jan January. January 22nd, I believe, of next year. Hopefully, by then, I'll be able to get her and do it. But there's also fun games like uh, Metal Slug Tactics, which is a strategy game. It's basically Metal Slug characters in like an XCOM style thingy. I keep doing this, so sorry. I, I get distracted when I talk and I can't focus on what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, that's, that looks pretty awesome. That's going to be coming out. Um, Quite a few rhythm games. Uh, Two games. Tunic, which I've been waiting for to come out for quite a while. Which is basically an homage to old school like Zelda games. That's kind of top-down-ish. As well as another game that looks like it's a combination between Zelda and Dark Souls called Death's Door. So both of those games look super fun and I really want to get both of those and start those up. Um, yeah, but yeah, today was just mostly updates for bigger games like the new season on Call of Duty. And uh, a lot of indie game announcements. Uh, Death Stranding Director's Cut, which does not make any sense to me. Oh god damn it, I did that... 
I'm an idiot. I was trying to use the pot to get back to the other world. I'm so dumb. I need to go to the map. Oh my god. Uh, Death Stranding Director's Cut, which makes no sense to me because Kojima made his own company specifically so he could make video games. The normal version of that game should have been the Director Cut already. So I have no idea what the hell he's added in to make it even more Death Stranding. But uh, luckily, I have not played it yet, so I will wait for the uh, Director's Cut to come out so we can play that. Map. I keep on going to Adventure's Handbook for some reason. Alright. Here, zoom it on out. Um, over here, I think there was a chamber that was locked that we never got into. So let's teleport on over here. Um, actually, hold on. Let me pull up my Twitter. I could just go through some of them. Uh, there was a horror game called Walk, which looks kind of like a PS2 game. Sorry, not PS2, like a PlayStation game. And it also reminds me kind of of a Resident Evil style gameplay where it's like fixed cameras and looks like it would be kind of tanky. Um... Unbeatable. What? Unbeatable looks amazing. It's a uh, rhythm game, which visual style is like old like an anime on like a VHS tape. So it's got like this really warm, nostalgic like anime style to it, which just looks amazing. I'm not super into a lot of rhythm games, but I definitely want to give that one a try. Um, a musical story, which that one, it looks super good. It's about a, uh, basically a band going, I think it was cross country to like this big music fest and it's very heavy on like emotional and like a personal kind of story. I probably won't stream that, but uh, I'll probably play it off stream. A garden story, which looks like not Stardew Valley, but kind of like Zelda Stardew-ish together and you're like a bunch of like fruits and vegetables that are alive it looks it's very fun and like kitschy with like a pop art with a pop pixel art style uh, and that looks hella fun of course elden ring uh planet of where was it sorry planet of lana which looks like a platformer with a very like cartoony like studio ghibli style art style to the backgrounds uh evil dead the game, which looks amazing. Uh, I'm not sure 100% of what it is, if it's just kind of like Zombies, the video game, or if it's more than that and there's an actual story, but I definitely want to look into that. Uh, Solar Ash again showed off today, and uh, what was it? Anacrusis? Anacrasis? I don't know how to pronounce it. It's basically a I think it's like a spaceship and there's aliens invading and it's basically horde mode with like in a spaceship or a space station that's kind of like 1950s to 1970s themed so like a lot of oranges and greens people with afros visual style looks amazing oh we did get in here dang it i wasn't sure if we ever opened this gate or not but we did uh, we've done everything on this map. Um, what else is there? God, today's stream sucks. <laughs> we haven't beaten this guy. No, that's a dungeon. Where, where is he? Oh, this one. We haven't done this one yet. I'm not really confident in doing it. Just because this rock dragon, like, the way to fight him is using, like, Noel's shield makes this hella easy. And I don't know yet what the proper, like, loadout for this is supposed to be. I don't want to do that. Uh, ooh, can we do the child fight? Maybe we could do, I don't think I've done the child or the uh, Devalin fight in quite a while. 
Oh, we're all set. Sweet. All right, let's go over there and do that then. We'll do both of those today. See if we get lucky and are able to get a blueprint. And then we'll uh, try the Abyss Dungeon. Let's see how that goes. Uh, speaking of Abyss Dungeon, let me look that up. Yeah, our team is is pretty set. Um, Razor's kind of weak to half of them. Should we do level eighty or just go seventy? Character levels are too low. I'm assuming that's Barbara. Okay, let's go seventy. Yeah, yeah, shit. Barbara's too low. Uh, and yeah, he needs us to be raised. Shoot. Yeah, I need to work on Barbara. It's just fighting that water spirit. I hate fighting it so much. It's the biggest pain in the buns. Oh yeah, and if you were ever wondering, like if you're going through the like abyss chambers, all the different floors, and you're just having a real hard time with them, uh, you can look up guides and they kind of show you like, for this floor and this section... It's quite hard to come by. Well then... Amuse me. Surrender is a value. Oh my god, dude, shut the hell up. I promise I'll be gentle. Wow, he talks a lot at the beginning of this. Um, you can look up guides where it's basically here's this team setup you want to have. And it's not like a set like just these people. They give you kind of a few options. Which is very nice. Dang it. Disappear. Wide open. Oh, so sorry. So quick to fully don't push him. Oh, wow. Dodge this. This isn't good. He's actually doing a lot of damage to us. Not bad. Not bad. I'm gonna just try to build up the heal. Oh, he's way far away. Try this. Although I haven't really been dodging that much, so. Ah, butts. Butts. Butts for days. Go, Barbara, go! A fine opportunity! Passable left. So quick to right. pop in that early. Let the show begin. Oh. Try to build up hers. You've made some oh, god damn. Not bad. You've got a trick. No use hiding back there. Yeah, Main Boy is so OP in so many fights. He's just like the wind attribute. I really want to get more wind people. move I'm not super comfortable dodging. Dang it. I just went straight into it without paying attention to what he was doing. Oh yeah! I forgot about that. If I just do the charge attack it can like Kind of knock him for a loop. All you do is uh, 
just kind of infinite loop it. I think. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I forgot to do that. Yeah, just do your charge attack right off the bat. And it really messes with them. And I think Kaya also does it the same amount. Um, I'm not sure about Razor. Yeah, but the, uh, tomorrow is weird. It's like, a lot of game stuff happens today. Tomorrow, there's, like, nothing really happening. But then, uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday is, like, a lot of other streams. I think it's Monday or Tuesday is Nintendo. I think Sunday is Xbox. So, yeah. Uh, Easy Allies has a really good comprehensive list of uh, what they're streaming, and they basically do reactions to all of the big streams as well. So if you want to find like a really good comprehensive list of all the different streams that are happening, I'd say check out their Twitter. Easy Allies. The best allies you can have in the video game business. One day. God, have they released... I haven't really looked at merch for Genshin Impact, but... Please tell me they're working on like a merch line of like figures. Because I totally want this. Child in this form would be so dope. As a statuette. Disappear. Yeah, the charge for him is so bad. Okay, Barbara still has her one revived. Let the show begin. Die here. All right, gotta go to the center. Uh oh. Okay, if you time your alt at the right time, it can kind of make you invincible. For a good portion of that. That's... I don't know if that's... I don't think that's on purpose. I think that's just kind of a little way to cheese the system. Ooh, the pipe organ's coming in. Nothing like a good pipe organ during a boss battle. It's always the coolest. I was thinking about maybe trying to switch up Main Boy's sword. Even though we've had this one for like ever. You're going down, buddy. Use up that resin. Dang it! Alright. Just really hoping there for uh, one of the blueprints. But yeah, I need to work on that water, that stupid water fight. It's like so. I do not know why I hate it so much. It's just like the most inconvenient. It's just fighting a bunch of little guys instead of a boss, and it's just like no. Plus, it's like they're. They take a lot of damage from Razor, but also Razor gets, like, totally bodied by them super easily. Hmm. I already did that. Alright, hold on. Let me pull up this list. Ooh. 
Okay, so it looks like fire people are super useful for the first half of the fight that I'm going into. Weird, all right. Ice and fire. Or ice. Wait, what? This isn't the right floor. What floor? It says... Yeah, floor six. Weird. This is not what I remember from floor six. I'm sorry, like on here it shows you like the list of all the enemies and like what's best to fight them. This is floor six, right? That says floor six. I could have sworn there was a robot on this floor somewhere, but it doesn't show that there is one on the list. Huh. It looks like the second half is like just fire heavy enemies a lot of the time. So you want your second team to have quite a bit. Fired people. Something feels wrong about this, but I can't put my finger on it. Yeah, you need good healers. Yeah, I'm just really trying to study this up. All right, we're going to do the uh, sixth floor. Um, first, we're going to this tree. We're going to heal up. It's my favorite spot to go to just heal everyone up. Like, we're going to be teleporting anyway, so might as well go to my favorite spot. I love going here to heal everyone up. Um, And we're going to try this out. So weird. Okay, so like the team that you want to have is uh, Zhuling, Amber, the main character with Animo, and Noel as like your first group. And then your second group should be Kaya, Lisa, Barbara, and then whoever else extra you want. And it looks like a lot of it kind of leans. The first set will be ice enemies, the second set will be fire, and then the second half is kind of a mixture of both. So you don't want to go all in on like fire characters or ice characters on either side. Because once you get to the uh, second half of it, the uh, second... Oh, what was it? Chamber 2. Once you get to Chamber 2, it's a mixture of fire and ice in each, in each half. I'm sorry, that was probably explained terribly. You'll see what I mean when I get there. Weird, I could have sworn I was fighting a mech at some point, or some big bot, some big guys. Um, actually let's attack this tree. Or statue, not the tree. Uh, just checking that, make sure everyone's all healed up. Um. So a fire character would be helpful. I would really like to try to get him or her up. And in fact... I'm pretty sure this list... Oh no, wow, this list actually has Zarya on it. Or Rosaria? Rosario? I can't remember her name. Um, Her, the nun, on it. So I guess this list isn't that old. I don't know when it was updated, because I don't know if it takes in consideration... Oh, it was updated just last month! Okay. So I guess it does take in consideration... Uh, her, the new uh, fire girl. Oh, and there she is on the list, right at the end. Okay, cool. A main DPS. So yeah, basically any fire character you really want to on your team in the first half. So we're probably going to go Bennett. Since he's our highest fire boy. Um, let's try... 
Making sure everyone's ready, like maybe I could try to level up their weapons or something. Or... Oof, Bennett. <sighs> we need to get you a lot of things to level you up. Alright, I gave her this... Uh... Oh, we could actually level this sword up. I think we can craft um, the rest of these. So let's try to do that. Yeah, let's do some crafting. Try to like boost up our characters what little we can before going into the dungeon. Um, okay, yeah, I dropped it to world level 5 from world level 6. I don't know how much of an impact that's going to have on the dungeon, but we will see how that goes. And I forgot to pull up. There we go. All right. I'm sorry, today I'm just being super forgetful. Oh my god. All right, let's pop in over here, try to craft some biz. Okay, yeah, it looks like this second half you want ice, lightning, and water together. So I think I'm definitely going to go Kaya, a Razor as lightning. What the heck? Teleport. There we go. Uh, Barbara as our healer, I guess. But who who else should we bring? I'm thinking Chung Yoon, maybe, since we just leveled up his sword. But I don't know. It's either Chung Yoon or Child, maybe. That seems like he could be super helpful. Let's get to crafting! Alright, where do we... Got it. Oh my god! I can make so many of these! Oh, I'm gonna make 25 of them. Shaboom. Oh wait, I forgot to look at this. Okay, good, no one. Yeah, yeah, yesterday when I crafted the sword, I didn't realize it, but uh, Dayluke is actually really good when it comes to crafting like blueprinted items, and you get to save some of your material if you use him. So it's like, shoot, I missed that when I did it. And I found out afterwards. Okay, so we got plenty of those. So maybe we can level up some other people's stiff. Boom, I leveled that up. Oof, nice. Roughly, uh, gained 20. Oh, whoa, when did they do this? I just realized they really extended this out a lot. So you don't just have to do like small groups of like seven of them. Kaboom. Nice. Um. I don't know. Can we make these purple cufflinks? I, I can never remember what days those are available. I'm really bad at farming materials in this game. Um. Let's see the cuffs. Do we have enough to make any of those? Oh, we do! Make two. Nope. Well, actually, yeah, we can go in here. Uh... Uh, where is you? Oh, way down here. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God. Almost. <laughs> All right, yeah, I forgot. And here you just select it. You don't hit uh, enchant or whatever. We need two more of those bracelets. Um, well, What are the dungeons doing right now? Let's find out. I think, was it this one? Oh, it is this one. Oh, Wednesday and Saturday. 
I hate leveling things up in here because I always forget what days they are. And like, I am never on the right day for the thing I'm trying to level up. Um... Okay, so that sort of looks like we're done leveling that up for today. Okay, so yeah, we're going to be bringing in main boy. Uh, oh, we need pinwheel. More pinwheel. I think we can craft some. Let's see. Oh god, no. <laughs> oh, I almost screwed myself. Oh, weird. So for this book, someone is... <gasps> Interesting. So he's good at crafting these. Okay, cool. I think that's the first time we actually used someone for crafting properly. Uh, and this, they didn't add anything to this menu, did they? <gasps> oh, they did! Oh, shit! This will make this so much easier. Because getting these are a pain in the butt. Nice. I didn't know they added this part. I knew about the crystals, but not these other components. Nice. I don't know when that was added. Oh, it's probably the crystals that we use to do it is probably when they added it. That makes sense. <laughs> I always saw those crystals and they were talking about modifying material and I was like, I was thinking about the uh, stuff that they use to modify like the crystal chunks. And I'm like, why do we need two different items to do that? It's like, nope, that makes sense. Those are for different kinds of items. Oh my God. All right. Yeah, that makes so much sense. Yeah, this is only level seven, his basic attack. Oh, but we don't have enough more, uh... Oh, we are way low. <laughs> oh my god. We're not even half. Oh my god, we're so broke. Well, main boy should be pretty safe and good. Babs. Let's boost you up. More pinwheels. We need a blue pinwheel. Uh, let's see about crafting some blue pinwheels. Yeah, might as well. Let's go all in. Ooh, and we got a bonus book. Alright, Barbara, let's boost you up. We can go up again. Ah, oh, we're one short. All right. Oh, well, what about your weapon? Ooh. Yeah, well, like, I've been trying to do a lot of leveling recently, so, like, my Mora is still, like, way in the toilet. <laughs> All right, so she's... I'll just... Oh, wait, no, we do unlock level 70. <gasps> I didn't... I completely forgot. I've had her at level 60 for so long, I forgot I bumped her up to level 70 as her cap. And I just haven't been giving her paper. Dude. Yeah, Razor's up there too. He's our second strongest next to main, main, our main boy, so he's finally needing like these kind of materials to level these up. Okay, well, these first four are our main team, and they should be pretty well off. Uh, these guys will definitely need some boosts. Dang it, it's just Mora. I need more Mora. Um, actually, hold on. Maybe we could sell some stuff. Um, I don't know if I have many of these. Haven't you heard? Alright, keep two. Nice. 
And I think I also have quite a bit of Geo Sigils as well, so we could sell some of those. Alright, let's try doing that. See how we come out. But yeah, I'm wondering whether I should bring a second ice character or if I should bring a second water character. It's either Child or Chung Yoon. We're going to bring one of those two. Child, he does have that ability that he can uh, put that little water flower on people to do a, a little extra damage. And But Chung Yoon has like, I think he's higher level and also has a stronger sword. So it's like, I don't know. One just helps the other characters do more damage. Because yeah, Child would help boost Razor and Kai's abilities. While Chung Yoon would just be a third person on the team to do damage. Alright, let's run over here. See how many of these we have to turn in. Fifty. Okay, not bad. Oh yeah, and since we have a new update, let's uh, check some of these sellers, see if they have any new recipes. Okay, no new recipe. Yeah, I'm very unclear at when they update recipes. Sometimes it's during events. Other times, not. So yeah, unfortunately it looks like today's just going to be a lot of odds and ends kind of stuff. Which I try not to do too much on stream. Like I just do like, not a lot of grinding, but like a bit of grinding. I just a lot of like inventory and character and equipment management off stream. Alright, let's check some of these guys. Recipes. Oh yeah, that guy never sells any- what's the point of this restaurant? They never have anything. What should I try this, time? Uh, this guy, I think he just sells vegetables. We're pretty high on all of these things from him. Welcome to Second Life. <laughs> uh, let's try this guy. Ooh, yes! New recipe! And it's a one star. Oh, we... Finally, they're starting to put in some more, like, bottom tier stuff, because... They did a lot of higher tier things a while ago. I'm wasting the money I just got. <laughs> Chop suey! I love that woman in the background yelling about her chop suey all day and night. Uh, I don't know why I find it so funny. Yeah, I hate having to do that with everything that we get to read the frickin' blueprint. It's like, just make it a specific tab if you want it, us to do that so bad. Ooh! Finally, we have something to use those, uh... Things. Whatever those purple um, wisps are. God, we're so low on this one. Alright, I'm gonna make this one first. I'm gonna make six of these. Hell yeah. Does this mean... I can't remember. Um, I know certain characters can, like, make specialty dish, but I don't know if they're marked like this, if it also, if they can also make a specialty dish as well, or if it's only when they specifically say they can. Right, I think we only need to do five of these. Yeah, out of five. We can, we can make all of them up. Hell yeah, and master it. And I think this is a revival item? 
last one. Shaboom. Okay, I can't remember. I think we have all greens and almost all blue. Done. All right, let's try this. Oof, so close. All right, she's already marked. Oh my god. We'll have just enough. I am the master! The purples are such a pain to do. Yeah, look at these. Only, like, purple is really left. I'm just double-checking all of these. Ah, I am a master chef. Oh, this one. Oh, this one also needs that purple weed. And it only needs five more. Ooh. So, one blue and then all of the purples, almost, is left. We need more of that butter stuff. And I think that's flour. Alright, let's make a few of these. Oh man, this one's super quick. I love it. I need two more of those. Bonus one. We're not gonna make it. Dang it. We're so close. But we're low on meat. If only the bonuses counted as extra dishes. Oh, two left. Two left for that succulent meat. <laughs> nice. All right, sweet. Oh shoot, yeah. Plus we have um the other restaurants to check as well. Um, can't remember. I don't think this guy over here sells any food. Does he? Yeah, he only tells tales, even though he's in front of a restaurant. That dude's had an exclamation point over his head for once. I refuse to talk to him. Alright, sweet! So that's cool. Uh, made all those dishes. Nice, nice, nice. And so then let's... I'd think, where else? Ooh, yeah, let's just make the rounds. Let's check here, see if maybe the cook here has any new dishes for us. Um, I can't remember the last time we checked in on him, so maybe he'll have something for us. I don't think he will, but still. Won't hurt to check. Oh, he's got a quest! You know what? We're not doing much. Why, why not? Let's do a quest as well. What's wrong? Oh my god, it's perfect timing! <laughs> this is exactly what I was looking for!
Gotta get those meatballs, baby. Those sweet, sweaty meatballs. I guess we have to sit down. All right, that's I just noticed the sword that he has on his hip is the same as uh, the one we have on Bennett, except uh, gray instead of red. Reusing assets. Okay, here we go. Come on. Right, I'm just gonna try to pop through this. I love when they make quests so easy for you. <laughs> Sit down. Cut the meat. 
That that's weird. Oh, the watcher. Oh, this is interesting. Ooh, all right. This is in I I support this. This is fun. I think they should definitely try to incorporate this a little bit more into the stories where it's like, yeah, we have these cool abilities. Why not do some quests where it's like, oh, can you go do so and so like light it on fire or whatever? Or I don't know, flood this area out or something. It's like, yeah, let's do that shit, man. We haven't used day Luke. Let's go. And since we're in a safe indoor environment, <laughs> let's bring him out. I hate mouthfeel. I hate when people say mouthfeel. Like, does it taste like jagged rocks? No? Then shut the mouthfeel, alright? It tastes like food. It feels like food, sorry. Yeah, like, if the dude's gonna loaf around here, might as well make him, like, the co-chef or something, or have him, like, responsible for, like, picking up the, uh, food, like, the vegetables and fruit and meat and whatnot. And, like, sous-chef? Just prep? While this guy does the actual cooking? Why not? Well, that was it. And we got the recipe for a four-star meal. Hell yeah. And let's see if there's anything else. I just remembered. I don't talk to him to get recipes. For some reason, we talk with this woman up here. And she gives us recipes. I always forget it's her that we talk to. Boom. God, how long? Man, I always forget about her. Um, oh, and that's what- Oh my god, I, I just keep on reminding myself of stuff. Let's also check on the carpenter in this small town. See if maybe he's got any new furnishings for us since the uh, 1.6 update. Yeah, every time they do a major update, make sure you always check in on these people to get like more recipes and blueprints and whatnot and make sure that none of them got updated. Because yeah, they never mention when they're updating like, oh, well, there's going to be more recipes. They never mention that in any of their live streams. As far as I can remember. Right, what's this person doing? I think maybe there's a cook in this town too, maybe? Oh, I was right. Okay, so she's the cook, and it doesn't look like she's got any. Are you kidding me? You, we can literally go out into the field and just pick these. <laughs> Who would buy those? Oh wait, no, it's night time. I don't think the guy's gonna be out. I think he's usually inside his house. That is something that I do 
like about this how some characters do have a day night cycle and they won't be outside at night time okay sweet so he's still out all right let's see do you have anything no he does not dang it all right let's load up i don't know if the winery has anyone that does food i haven't really talked to too many people there but i do know at springs vale they do so yeah let's go to springs vale we'll talk to the cook there and then we'll head into uh monstat and uh check all the local places yeah monstat's got quite a few like taverns and whatnot and i really wish the taverns would carry like there's custom drinks or something so instead of having to make like those magical vials that give us oh here's resistance to whatever you could make like drinks that could be like oh here's like a five percent speed boost for 30 seconds or something i wouldn't really use them but i think that would be cool or if you kept food for like basic like strength buffs and defense buffs but then you could do drinks for like i don't know speed and uh I don't know, damage per minute or something? No. God, where is she? Uh, hold on. Oh, she's supposed to be over here. Oh, it's nighttime, so she's not out. Alright, let's hop into the day. Hopefully she'll be out cooking. We got a cooking competition with her once. That's why I always remember her. Nope. All right, and then finally into Mondstadt. Where we will check our local establishment. As well as, uh, there's an old man who's a carpenter as well here. I'm gonna go check on him first. I don't think they'll have anything, but who knows, maybe they will. Like, all those blueprints that showed up in the, uh, Chubby's store, they could have just given to- given some of them to these guys. Some feng shui and... Yeah, see, like, they already have, like, one here. You could have gave one, um, like, some of those that showed up in the other store. I wish the Knights of Avonius had a kitchen and, like, a chef there that was a character. Surprised that hasn't been a thing yet. Because they do have a pretty hefty, like, range of food that you can make. I can never remember if this girl sells recipes either. What you got? Nope. Just started out trying to level up characters and we ended up cooking. <laughs> Genshin Impact, the game of distractions. <laughs> Sorry, I did not mean to talk to you. Oh wait, no, that was cooking. I wanted to talk to uh Today's recommendation is Sarah. Okay, no new recipe from her. Okay. Let's do cooking. Ooh, so that's our new dish. It's delicious. But it's that meat that's a pain in the butt to do. We can either buy it or we can make it ourselves, which takes chunks of meat to uh, set up. Alright. Oh, and it's already ready. It's a shrimp dish, I guess. It just looks like shrimp maybe on top of rice with peas. Or maybe those are Brussels sprouts. Pretty big peas. They're hefty. 
Okay, so we got that. Whoa! We- oh, I didn't realize that. Cool! So when he takes fire damage, he gets a shield around him. Huh. Alright. Let's try and do this. This... This will be a thing to do. Okay. Let's head in. Yeah, we still need just one more for this level 5 before we have all of them. Oh god, this floor's all fatui. Uh -huh. Then what's the final floor? Oh, we're getting some robots mixed in there. Oh. Okay, the final... That doesn't look too bad. The final floor on floor 8 doesn't look too bad. And then what? I'm not sure what this does. Oh, I got all stars there. Only two stars here. Okay, first half. We're gonna want... And fire people because it's all quite a bit of ice people in the first round the second round it's got some ice people but also some basic fire hilly trolls uh abyss mage like that's mainly what you want to look out for it's got a cryo abyss mage so you want fire to melt that shield um and then the second half of that floor that's super easy and then the third floor as it looks like some big hilly trolls, a geo, and then the second half of that is a pyro uh, abyss mage, which those are a pain because if you you can get like all three of them, there's three of them total on that floor, they pop up all at once, and you can get your butt kicked firmly by them. So the first half. It's just to have your main character with Animo. Uh, two fire characters. They are suggesting Amber. But we're going to go Bennett. Because he does heals. Um, two fire characters. And then Noel. I don't know if I should. Unfortunately, Noelle isn't that strong. Hmm. Inflicted. It's the first half that's super hard to really figure out what to do with. The second half is way easier knowing what characters we should use. But it does have like a secondary list of different characters that it would be a good help. Um, unfortunately, a lot of them I don't have. And it's like, come on, man, I have over half the characters. And Gene and Sucrose is on this list, as well as Venti, and it's just like, god damn it, I need so many of the wind characters. Um, let's see here. I can't remember what the average level of the enemies are. Hold on, let me check that. Really? It gives us all this information, but it doesn't look like it actually gives us what the rough level of the actual enemies are. It just gives you the numbers. Oh, enemy level. There it is. All right, 60. Its average is 60. So we should be good. Um... 
It did suggest to have a lightning character on the second half. Although the first half is cryo-based characters. Alright, I'm gonna use her. Because yeah, there's a bunch of cryo and water characters on the first half of the first floor. And having someone electric will definitely help deal with them. And then... Another fire character. You know what, we are gonna go Amber. Unfortunately. Like, I really don't like using her, but like right now she's our only good fire option because I really don't like her. And the other, and, uh, Dayluke, and, what's her face, Fiora, Fiera? The, the new fire thrower, she is not high enough level, nowhere near. Unfortunately, the two characters I'm using are level 60s, so the first half might be a bit more challenging. But yeah, look at this, if you hit, uh, R3... Tells you the different bonuses you get. So it's effect so that's why they want you to have two fire characters, because there's a lot of cryo characters in the first half. So you get 40% less and increase to your attack by 20%, so that's pretty damn good. Let's switch to the secondary path. In the secondary path, they wanted I, uh, Barbara, and I don't know. Hold on, let's see what what does this do? Oh, electric? No. Um. Oh, pyro. Okay, we want two water characters then. So okay, yeah, that solved our problem for us. We're going with child. So this will decrease. Pyro by 40%. And, uh... Increases our healing by 30%. Yeah, these boys are definitely not dying. <laughs> the first half, I'm afraid, but the second half should be clear. Bennett's healing, hopefully, will be good. Um, Although, Noel does a bit of healing as well. Damn it. Alright, I'm gonna swap out... Uh, one of the characters. Uh, where is she? I'm gonna swap her out for Noel. I'm just pa I'm worried about the healing, the amount of healing that Bennett can do on his own. So we're gonna have Noel. Hopefully, her shield will help boost our healing. But yeah, Let's see if we can make it through this. Because yeah, I made it. The first floor was easy. The second floor, I unfortunately got hit too hard with my second group. And two of them died. So then by the time I got to the third floor, the third floor was super easy, but since the second half I was going into it with only two characters, I just could not make it. Characters, attack, 20%. Characters, physical resistance. Physical defense by 30%. Physical damage resistance. I think this counts as elemental damage as well. Or just elemental damage. All right. Well, some of our characters are a bit on the weaker side. So I'm going to go with a plus 20%. Just to make sure everyone's okay. Damage wise. And we should be able to handle our own healing. Oh, the Whopper Flower. God, how I hate you. Everybody stand back! Adventure time! Windblade. Definitely helps to be able to do this move within the fire circle. I must leave me. As a good night should. Yeah, unfortunately, Noel still isn't that strong. But she seems to do decent damage against the Jelly Boys. Huh. 
There we go, comboing it with main boy. Frickin' whopper flower. Let's light it up! Adventure time! Huh. I'll race you there. Yes, comboing with the fire. Yeah. Disappear. Nice. Nice! And I hit the new guys coming in too. Damn it. Another Whopper Flower. Yeah, this is just a little bit time-consuming, really. It's not really that dangerous. Like, I wasn't paying attention and I got overwhelmed in the second half on the second floor. Yeah, get them stuck in the corner so you can just kind of, like, do a buttload of damage and they can't really go anywhere. And also keep an eye on the time. But it shouldn't be anything to really worry about. But just in case. Let it rain. Uh. Oh, dang it, she didn't have, uh fire damage on them. I was thinking it was. It looks like if you hit the Whopper Flowers with Barbara's arrow, it automatically, like, knocks them. those alts for next round. Oh my god, yeah, look at all of our stats. Like, we're still pretty high up there. In terms of our uh, health. I'm a little surprised that we haven't taken a little bit more damage. Boom. Alright, second half. Let's go. Second half, first floor. I think we actually might be making better time than I did last time. Shouldn't let your guard down. Oh dang it, he moved. Damn it. There we go. No time to lose. Dude, Kaya and Child, once I really get Child up to snuff, those two will be able to uh, work together so freaking well, it will be ridiculous. Just even his just like regular knife attacks comboed with uh, Kaya's like alt is so good. Dang it. Is there. Let's dance. Cool 
All right, we still have a few more to take out, and we have four minutes left. Dang it. I believe if you pop them, yeah, before they fully do that move, they won't be able to do what he's doing right now. Which is hella annoying. And goes actually for quite a bit a long time. Okay, luckily we have Barbara on our team, so I'm being a little more aggressive. Because I know Barbara can handle their healing. Even Barbara doing her basic attack on them when they're doing that charge up can knock them out of it. It doesn't need to be a particularly strong attack. I'm forgetting. I have Kaya. Boom. Done. Alright. Not bad. Okay. Oh, we got all four... We got... Sorry. All three stars. Hell yeah! Really boosting us here. Yeah, we're really flying through this. It definitely doesn't hurt that our main character is like max level or almost go oh god what the hell was that why am i so far off to the side okay character attack is up 20 percent increase character damage dealt to opponents weak point that one i feel like we don't really need uh Instantly restore the HP. No, we're, we're really good on that. I think this one we should go with. Because... It was pushing us a little bit. Yeah, because there's quite a few like mages and whatnot going to be coming up. Throwing magic at us, so we're going to need that defense. Plus, these dudes throwing electric arrows. Disappear! I must leave no as a dutiful maid would. I'll catch up. Steady as stone. Alright, I've been working too much on Noelle. I'm going in. Oh. oh, hell yeah, perfect place. He can start out on fire. Oh no, we got a water boy. Yep, that's why you want to watch out if they have a water guy out. Is just in case they pull out. Ooh, God, hell yeah. Okay, I was not planning on having the tornado light on fire. We just got super lucky and it destroyed the Abyss Mage's uh, shield. Oh my God, we got hella lucky with that. Yeah, dude, look at our health. We've been taking so much freaking damage, but like nothing's been harming us. Oh my god, so many just little Haley Troll dudes. Go, go, no escape. I must be as a good night should. Teamwork is dreamwork. Teamwork is dreamwork, baby. Yeah, dude, look at me. We're set on healing. It's just like those little bonuses you get characters that get like, oh, get like 100 HP back or whatever. Just those small kind of little notches really help out your characters keep their health up. Yeah, look at that. That it just gave me 
quite a few. Almost 1,500 health from just doing that. Honestly, I don't know exactly what gives us the health back, whether it's the artifacts we have on, or if it's the weapon ability, or one of our um, talents. I do not pay attention as well as I should. <laughs> Will be frozen. Let the show begin. You can run, but you can't hide. Dodge this. Right, let's take these boys out. What the heck? My R2 wasn't activating. I just ran up and started standing there. Right, I'm trying to get a good picture. All right, I think I wiped out the Wind Mage, so his move should be over with soon. All right, Razor's health is getting pretty low. Oh yeah, shoot, there's the uh, ice guy right there. There we go. Alright, ice guy's out. Alright, this one was a lot sloppier. Amateur mistake. God damn it, these little shields, this asshole keeps popping up. It is. Like, they don't hurt. It's not like a lot of damage. It's just very obnoxious to deal with. This moment will be frozen in time. Cool it. There we go. That was a lot of boosted health. Damn it. That was bad timing. There we go. Alright, just doing this, trying to boost her so she'll have her thing up. As well as everyone's all healed. We're all good. We're all good. Boom. Yeah, always make sure when you're down to like the last two, one or two enemies. Ah, so close. Once you're down to your final, like, one or two enemies, uh, make sure you pull out your healer and you try to do, like, whatever you can to do, just, like, a little extra heal if you need it. Obviously. Okay, this should be super easy. Um... We're gonna do that. Yeah, this is going to be easy because, yeah, last time it was the second half of this floor that I got stuck on. And that's only because I had only Razor and Kaya with me. And they both had half health. And, like, that was it. And I would get up to, like, the final, th like, two enemies. Two or three enemies. And just couldn't beat them. Just because they would overwhelm me. This is why you need Noelle. For this nonsense. No one escapes by sight. Dang it, I was hoping her shield would be up more. I must leave no stone unturned. Let's light it up. Bye bye. Alright. There we go. This boy, I remember him. Oh, 
damn it. I always get the timing of her shield off. As a dutiful maid would. There we go. This is just to take down his shield. Let's light it up. Yeah, now that I think about it, I think this is the same setup I had last time I went into this. In terms of for the first team. The second team, I think I had two electric people. Maybe? I can't remember. It kind of blends together. Let it rain. Let's light it up. There we go. Oh, I was trying to combo with the pyro a little bit more. We got him. Boom. Oh. We were, were at, we were at like seven minutes forty seconds. We took him out so quick. Okay, these guys have uh, abyss mages, pyro abyss mages, which are a pain in the butt because of their shields. And if you don't have a water person on deck, which ours was knocked out at that point, you are totally screwed. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, want to take them out as soon as possible because you can have, I think, up to three of them on the field at a time. And that is no good. Especially if they start doing some of their higher magic. Like those little heads that pop up that shoot huge uh, flamethrower fire at you. Yeah, I keep forgetting that uh, Child puts that Hydro Marker on them, which boosts electric. I think, I believe, can help boost electric damage. Oh crap, two of them are on the field right now. Alright, one of them's shield is almost down. I'm gonna try to focus on him. It's those fire moves that I hate. Freeze. This moment will be frozen in time. Boom. Oh, and we got three stars for that one. God damn it. So it's only the second floor that we're really getting screwed on. Uh, we've got a... Honestly, it, it's at this point that white paper just becomes so ridiculously nothing. Like, you can't use it for anything unless you get a brand new character and you want them up to, like, level 5. It's just, like, so useless. Well, we got the golden chest. I can't remember what those do. What, like, what items are inside of them. I haven't gotten one in quite a while because I've been stuck on floor 6 forever. For a ridiculous amount of time. Uh, let's see here. Is there a thing to move up to the next floor? Whoa, what? Okay, so I'm looking at this. It doesn't end at floor 8. I thought it did, but it looks like it goes all the way up to floor 12. Holy hell. Oh yeah, I forgot he does that. I thought it was just a pissed off falcon. <laughs> I'm like, whoa! They're really going out there with some of their more aggressive animals. 
Death from above, buddy. Okay, the next one. What? Oh my god, okay. So it looks like the setup that we have is like good for like most of these floors. So the next floor is nothing but Fatui. The first round looks like it's Cryo Hydro, which is the worst combo when it comes to Fatui. Uh, and Electric. The second half is Hydro, Fire, and Wind. So the second half is way easier. The next floor, Hydro. Yeah, it looks like at least one group on every floor has Hydro. Which, uh, that's the one that heals, so you definitely need to take them out. Oh, whoa, what? Something in our book? Adventurer's Guide. Oh, I forgot it was 6-3. Yeah! Oh, which means we just need to level up. Uh, I, there's no way in hell we'll be able to get one up to level 20 right now. But I want to check to see. I need to like go and do a lot more dungeon runs to get more uh, relics. Let's just see. Um, I think it was her artifact that I was working on. Oh yeah, it was this piece that I was working on, this cool mask. Yeah, I'm only up to 10. Yeah, there's no way I'll be able to. One level. And that's it. Um, actually, hold on, let's see here. I tried to keep one of everything, at the very least. This one is super extra. I do not need. I got a lot of these uh, feathers recently. I've been getting just a buttload of them. It just takes so much material to go into this. It's ridiculous. Although there are dun- I guess that is why there are a quite a few dungeons that just give you artifacts, I guess. Like, I've never really found much use for them, but I guess this is why, if you really want to boost them up. But yeah, we just need one more up to level 20, and then we can move on to the next chapter in our book, which has taken us forever to get to. But yeah, it's super disappointing, the, uh, the, the achievement book for the, uh, our home base is to buy an item from someone else's, like, home material world place. And it's like, I don't know anyone that plays this. God damn it. <laughs> I'll never be able to get that one. I hate when they put stuff in it where it's like, you have to do like this multiplayer thing to get this. And it's like, oh, a bitch. There's another one here. You should really bring the Knights of Favonius with you next time. Where you, uh, where you go to a specific spot on the map. Uh, I can actually show you. I can pull it up. And I'm actually probably going to do that tonight. Um... This island here, it's got like a little heart made out of sand. If you have one person from one gender stand on one side and another person from the other gender stand on the other side, a treasure chest will pop up and you'll get a a, 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 a reward for it. Uh, more than just the treasure chest, like another reward. But yeah, you need to have another person in your world to do that. And it's just like, damn it. But, uh... Anyway, yay! We did it! We moved on to the next floor. Uh, we'll see about... I'll see about trying to level up some of these buoys. Higher levels, so we can take on uh, floor 7. Or actually, wait, 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 let's see. I can't remember. Do we have an, Did we get any rewards, treasure chest-wise? I can't remember how many stars we need. Oh, we do! Okay, sweet. I don't know. I meant I meant claim rewards. Holy Mora! Yes, that's what we need. And we also might have enough to uh, buy another gem. Yeah, I'm still super salty about this nonsense. Like, come on. Let me pay twenty dollars for someone's outfit. Ten dollars is pushing it. 
20 is just like, that's not gonna happen, bud. I wonder what the metrics are for that. Like, it's gotta be a significant amount of people that would actually pay for that if they put it in the game like that. Alright, there we go. I think we have 13 of these now, maybe. And like I said yesterday, I'm saving up. We have 13. Saving up for the new boy to pop in. Um, in 18 days. Quite a few days. So we're going to save up. We're going to have a lot. We're going to have so many. And we are going to do maybe... F okay, I want to be reasonable. I can maybe get 10 every week and a half. So maybe 50 if I'm lucky. If I really push it, we might be able to do 50 drops right off the bat and hopefully get him. Which would be ridiculous. Um, -doo 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 -doo. But yeah, that is it for today, guys. Thank you very much for coming out and hanging out, everyone. Uh, please hit that follow button. It really helps me out. And uh, yeah, if you want to see any of the trailers, any of that whatnot that I've been uh, watching recently for uh, video games since all this E3 events are happening right now, uh, follow me over on Twitter, where I already said earlier, I tweet out all that kind of stuff that I find interesting. And if there's any games in there that you find interesting, let me know. Uh, either on Twitter, on Twitch, or in the comments on YouTube. Speaking of YouTube, if you want to see any of my past videos, they're all over on YouTube, which is the link down below. I have a copious amount of gameplay over there. Yeah, I've been streaming for 282 days. Almost every single day has been at least two hours, if not hour and a half. Usually two hours. And in fact, I can't remember right, I think when I first started Genshin Impact, I think the first like 20 episodes might be 3 hours each. I know when Dragonspine came out I did a few 3 hour streams. There's a lot of content. A lot. Of a poor man rambling. But uh, yeah, that's it for today. Tomorrow we're going to be getting back into Kingdom Hearts and we are going to be going to the Pirates of the Caribbean world. One of my favorite visual worlds. Uh, but yeah, it's honestly Frozen onward. Like the last three worlds, like Frozen, the Pirates World, and San Francisco. Those worlds just kind of feel like they rush through the story. And I don't know why. San Francisco is okay, but Frozen really feels rushed through. And the Pirates one, since they only are only doing like specific parts of the third movie feels like super hacked into. I wish they did uh, part two and three. They just made it a bit of a longer one. That would have been so awesome. But uh, what are you going to do? Besides, I love the texturing in it. When you see the good high res. Kingdom Hearts is one of the few games where you can still be like, when they go to cutscenes, you can tell it's like a really good high render cutscene. And then they cut to gameplay because there's a noticeable difference. Even though like the gameplay itself still looks amazing. They like really kick it up a notch for like really good detailed cutscenes. And there are some really good ones on the Pirates world. Really a lot of good rendered like hair and fur and stuff like that. Skin tones. It's weird how well, how like, they don't, like Donald and Goofy don't fit into that world by any means. But they definitely don't stand out as much as you thought that you'd think they would. <laughs> and that's just like, wow, they did a pretty good job for the Pirates world. That's going to be coming up tomorrow. Kingdom Hearts 3, baby. Uh, then this weekend, we are going to be continuing on our path to ending B in Near Replicant. Uh, this past weekend, I it was a heat wave out and I had no AC, so unfortunately a lot of the streams were pretty short because it sucked <laughs> so bad. Uh, and yeah, the last stream was terrible. The beginning of the Part B playthrough is like a 30 to hour long just text going across the screen. It's just like, God damn it. Not the way I wanted to start that off with, but we're into the gameplay now. And hopefully we'll be able to get quite a bit through it and get to that B ending pretty quickly, hopefully. We will see. And, uh, yeah. So I have that look to look forward to. Uh, hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow. If not, I will see you guys next Tuesday, where we'll be continuing Genshin Impact and a lot more content will be unlocked for this event that we'll be able to go out and do. But, uh, yeah. Other than that, I 
think that's uh that's it for today guys bye bye